So, Sasmeet, we are sitting in Little Fla Kalangut, yes. that's a high school. And you are a Teach for Goa fellow. Yes. And you are teaching in the off school hours, you are teaching a batch of students, two batches of students, yes. computing. Tell us what, tell us what is the logic of the system and tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Sasmeet Sinan Arkandi. I have done Master of Engineering from GEC in Industrial Automation and Radio Frequency. This is the advanced or extra curriculum. In this, we are going to teach critical thinking and uh, reasoning skills to the students. So, in later life, they can uh, solve the codes. And also, we have seen that in schools in rural areas and in urban areas, there is a lot of discrepancies. Because, yeah, there's a wide gap. Yes, because students in the rural areas has not enough uh, access to computers. So, using this scheme, even those students can get access to latest technologies. So, it's voluntary? Students come if they want? Yes, or how, how does it, it is work? voluntary. Uh, the teachers from school have taken some names from the students. And they, there are two batches from Monday to Saturday. Okay. And how many times a week? Uh, full. Um, from Monday to Saturday. Every day? Every day. From 2 to 6.15. What's the response like of the students? Uh, the response is good. Both boys and girls? Both boys. I have seen, I have, I am also teaching at Pernem near the Goa Maharashtra border. Which one? Which school? In uh, this thing, uh, government high school, Hankane. Literally at the border. I see. Yes. Goa and Maharashtra. Over there, the attendance is almost 100% daily. 100%? 100%. They love to use the computer because many of them don't have computers at home. Yeah. So, uh, actually it starts at 2 o'clock, but they come at 1.30 and wait for me. So, what are you teaching them exactly? Uh, first, we have uh, we are teaching that uh, we are teaching them AI and ML. Yeah. Uh, in that, we have used PictoBlocks. In PictoBlocks, they can see the basic functioning. So, this is PictoBlocks. It will take some time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, in PictoBlocks, there are various ex extensions. Yeah. I see. So, using that extensions. These are the extensions and using those ext extensions, they can uh, work on image pr um, uh, image processing and uh, machine learning and all. So they can understand various concepts of these things. They can also tell the computer to uh, tell them what their emotions are and all. And the second uh, tool is the command line tool that is the terminal. So in terminal, they can type various codes to get different shapes. So for example, today, we, we have written code in a script format. This, uh, this script is written in bash. This script is written in bash. Mm. And in this uh, last week's code, we have written in a function. So when we call that function, uh, we can uh, run the code and these various images are formed. I see. So these images they did today. I see. So and it's Linux based? This is Linux based. I see. And they don't uh, find a difficulty to... No, uh, this uh, Linux Mint is almost similar to Windows. So yeah. if they have a hands-on experience with Windows, this will also be almost the same. Uh, tell us about Teach for Goa. It, uh, is, uh, it is after your finish? It's some, it's some kind of uh, extra internship or... No, this is my... Uh, I'm on contract basis okay. for... Uh, currently it's one year. Okay. So we had to answer one written exam and afterwards there was an interview conducted and after that interview they selected uh, something like 40 of us. I see. So there are 37 currently going to different schools all over Goa. I see. And three are uh, working at uh, this commercial taxis building at um, Alto or uh, this thing. Yeah. Altino. 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 Okay. And those three are working on different uh, other uh, systems like uh, de development of curriculum or de developing Seventh standards curriculum. Also. I see. I see. What is the major difficulty you face? The major difficulty I faced is uh, in some schools people don't know how to use a computer. So the first class was challenging. They even didn't know how to use a mouse. That we have yeah. to hold a mouse like this. So they were using mouse using only one finger. So I had to like tell them how to use a mouse. That you have to use right click, left click. I see. Interesting. Yeah. But then they learn fast. Children yes, are very adapted. Yes. 
and you are you are keeping it multilingual so that they are more comfortable yes, using multilingual so that they are more comfortable yes. in pandem i am using uh, kokni marathi and english trilingual over here i am using english and sometimes in marathi makes uh, sense also it use. makes sense because while technically they may be english medium schools yes. in reality children speak more than one language yes, yes. and and they are more comfortable in with in one lead school uh, students from different ah. schools are coming okay so currently uh, for this session there were students from little flower yeah. there were Kalangur. students also from other schools like um which school you are from saint joseph saint joseph next door next door saint joseph next door next door the boy school and which other school like uh, uh saint joseph and then um uh close by whatever close by schools kalangut arpura uh, that's all okay interesting interesting okay one lead school in that one lead school students from different other schools are coming therefore some schools have computer system so they know how to work yeah but in some schools they were not having computer system so over there the difference was getting created this is going on for how long now uh, it started from january 1st so if from january 1st to 9th we were giving uh, training on how to teach because we are engineers yeah and from uh, the next week i see we started going to schools i see the geography of goa is quite challenging because yes. you are saying you are going to the maharashtra border which is virtually yes, yes. i am going currently in three lead schools one is this little flower yeah. one is in hankade and one is in ld samant porvori 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 i was thinking of going there okay i would meet you only <laughs> but uh, then then how you plan your week there are other teachers coming here or they come yes. days a week or uh, from, six days a week yes in monday i have to work on uh, some other things at commercial taxis yeah. tuesday i am going at hankade okay when is Thursday, Thursday, this school. Okay. Friday, I'm going in uh, LD Samant, and Saturday, I have to work on electronic development. Interesting. So, uh, one last question: You feel that this is a good use of local skills to train yes, local yes. youth? Yes. This this is yeah. actually uh, very useful because when I was also in seventh standard, we had many different competitions. Which like school? I was in the PR Vasco. Vasco. So we had different like Western India Science Fair and all. I so see. if this was them. Then our projects would be good. So we were always going. We were winning in Goa and yeah. going afterwards. Yeah, Bihar is a good school. It's yes. urban school and all that. Ah, uh, it's government aided, but yeah. MPT MP is there. Ah, so yeah, it's a big school. You cannot compare it with a rural school. Yes, it is in Sada, which is rural areas, but okay. the school is good. Correct. Facilities are good in it. So you are saying if you had to get it, it would have been different. Yes. because we were always losing afterwards mumbai students and all had all these things in their schools they have a head start mm. thank you thank you so much all the very best all the very best any website or something which people can visit and check out uh kids goa that website is see uh i don't know if it's there in this yeah it is it is there c c a d how how do you what does it stand for kids c a r e s c a r e s no yes coding and robotics education in schools I see. Very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. All the best. All the best. All the best to you. You are doing a good job. I know it's tough. It's not easy, but keep going. Thank you. Thank you.